Welcome to PCB Heaven Tech Labs. In this video, I will demonstrate my next circuit, which is a simple 555 timer breathing LED flasher. This circuit is the new version of an older circuit that I uploaded some time ago. The previous circuit was designed for PC modifications with simple LEDs and required 5 volts to operate. But then I received many comments and emails from people who wanted to operate the flasher at 12 volts or higher for 12 volts LED strips, probably for car modifications. So here it is. What makes the circuit special is the highly adjustable output. The output can be adjusted both in terms of oscillation amplitude and DC offset. With the proper adjustment, almost any LED can be controlled effectively. For example, the same circuit can be used to control one single LED with forward voltage 3.4 volts or two LEDs in series with voltage 6.8 volts or even three LEDs in series with a total voltage of 10.2 volts or higher. The circuit is so flexible that even an incandescent 12 volts 21 watts light bulb is controlled effectively. The power dissipation of the transistor in that case is about 10 watts. So a bigger heatsink or a fan is necessary for continuous operation. The pulse generator is the same as the original circuit. A 555 timer is connected as an unstable multivibrator with a diode to achieve duty cycles less than 50%. These two potentiometers control the fade-in and fade-out intervals. The first potentiometer, which is labeled as R2 in the schematic, controls the fade-out interval, and the second potentiometer, labeled as R3, controls the fade-in interval. The voltage across the oscillating capacitor is coupled with this large electrolytic capacitor to the first transistor amplifier. A large resistor increases the amplifier's input impedance and minimizes the effect of the amplifier itself to the 555 timer operation. The input peak-to-peak -peak voltage is then adjusted by this voltage divider labeled as R7 in the schematic. This potentiometer eventually controls the output oscillation amplitude. The first transistor amplifier is a common emitter connection with fixed bias. The output of this stage is then coupled through this coupling capacitor. A potentiometer connected as a voltage divider adds a DC offset to the output of the amplifier. This potentiometer is labeled as R6 in the circuit. Finally, the resulting signal is fed into the base of an emitter follower made with a 10 amperes Darlington pair power transistor. The first two potentiometers are used to adjust the fade-in and fade-out intervals. The circuit can be adjusted to operate as slow breathing, fast breathing, flash in fade out, or fade in flash out. To adjust the output you will need a voltmeter, preferably an analog one connected at the output of the circuit. First, you set the time intervals to maximum by maximizing the resistance of the R2 and R3 potentiometers. Then, you set the R6 and R7 potentiometers in the middle. You should notice now that the voltmeter changes readings slowly, like this. Then, by rotating the potentiometer R7, you increase or decrease the oscillation amplitude. The setting must be done slowly, since the capacitors have a very large hysteresis. After setting the appropriate oscillation amplitude, you adjust the DC offset with the R6 potentiometer. 
the maximum voltage that appears on the voltmeter must not exceed the maximum supply voltage of the LEDs. For easier adjustment, you may want to use multi turn potentiometers instead. If the amplitude and offset are correctly adjusted, then you can connect the load. You may need to readjust the circuit with the load connected before you remove the voltmeter. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to visit my website for more interesting circuits.